Hey guys, welcome to another Jurassic World live video. Today we're gonna, you know, uh, watch some more of Temerity's uh, battles in the lower arenas. I think he's in lockdown now, which, you know, that's that's new and fun, so uh, hopefully uh, it's gonna be cool. Uh, I, I, I haven't been in lockdown for in, in quite a while. I don't really know what uh, people use down there anymore, but uh, let's find out, I guess. <laughs> All right. First one, it's his name, Badlands Continue, but it's locked down. I don't really get it. Maybe like the dinos are, uh, he faces are still like Badland dinos. I don't know. All right. That's a decent hand. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Merity is a member of the MetaHub team and does not use, his, does not use hybrids. Is that a level 16 Stigmalock? Really? That's... I know Sting Moloch is good in lower arenas, but like 16 is a bit too extreme, isn't it? Don't you want to like make a uh, Paramoloch or whatever? <laughs> oh, goodbye, Stiggy. Ah, Drake Rex Gen 2. <laughs> wow. Poor thing. Didn't stand a chance. Alright. Ah, here's the Paramoloch. Wait. If you have Pyramid Moloch, why is your level your stage to level 16? <laughs> Ouch. So you just took that Rampage and run. Uh, I guess. I guess you could do that. Ooh, into a Swap and Stun that's done nothing. So it's just gonna be a level si This is a weird team. <laughs> a level 16 Stage Moloch, a 17 Paramoloch, and a 16 Triceratops Gen 2. Which, by the way, you guys don't know, Triceratops Gen 2 has Rampage and Strike. Which doesn't make too much sense considering it is a Ceratopsian. Uh, its moves don't make too much sense. Ooh. Oh, that's so close. Although, uh, actually never mind, I was about to say I would have preferred Rex die here, but it's actually not really since, uh, uh, Delta can't really do much. You know, you'll have to waste a pounce to take out that uh, Triceratops Gen 2. Bracky? I mean, if Delta comes in, she's going to get stunned anyways. So, yeah, makes sense. Oh, the Sun Mister. Ooh, and the crit. That's some decent RNG. Okay, so they ran here. Mirror Gaia. Oh, no. Is he gonna lose? Are you gonna have a first uh, loss here? Oh, that's so close. That's so close. Poor thing. No, if he. Yeah, if, if he went for Rampage and Near Guy went for Regeneration, <laughs> then he would be screwed there. Okay, so the Pounce does uh, take away a lot of the Mirror Guy's damage here, which is helpful in this case. Shielding Strike, oof. And uh, it's GG. Impact Miranda takes it out. Well, that was pretty close. That was pretty close. That was a close call. Like, of all the battles that Temerity's ever sent me, I don't think there ever was losses. I don't think he ever actually lost one yet or whatever, but... Um, that was a really close match. It looks like uh, now that he's in lockdown, the uh, levels are more uh, they're more matched than they were in Badlands, which is fun. So yeah, let's go on to another one. Uh, okay, what's this one? DG two locking it down. That's a really weird title. He, he probably doesn't doesn't even know. Well, maybe he does know that I'm reading out his titles, which is kind of weird. So he just named them, like, to remind himself which videos are, which files and stuff. Okay, I never get that DNA received thing. It never pops up for me. I don't know why. Okay, uh, Tryandon, Lanka, Bracky, and St Dr Draco Gen 2. I almost said Stiggy Gen 2. So, two Flyers, Draco Gen 2, and Brachiosaurus. Level 18 Lost Rap is going to do a lot of damage, but thankfully uh, he did open with Brachiosaurus, so that means that's a dead Lost Raptor. 
Um, one quick note, uh, if you guys are using Wasp Raptor, which, you know, uh, at certain stages it, it is, it's a really strong dino, but um, don't open with it. Just keep it in the back, wait for something that has low health, and then, you know, throw it in, uh, get a kill on the strike, then you'll have the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, pounce ready for the next dino, it's going to do a lot of damage. Alright, Atlanta. Hopefully Roger doesn't go for the shield, it goes for extended critical instead. And it did go for extended critical. By the way, a lot of people were saying, oh, extended critical is so strong, but... It is strong, it's a good move, but... It basically is just like... A 60% chance for Ferocious Strike to activate. <laughs> Which I found pretty funny. Um, ooh, so it's not going to take it out another turn. Roger Source is, is, is a really good non-hybrid, by the way. So you guys have that going for you this weekend, if you guys don't have any better dinos. Ouch. Ouch. It's slow, but it deals a lot of damage. And it does have the, uh, a long... Protection or whatever it's called to uh, survive a bit. Ooh, uh, ooh, he's he's pinned, so he can't really swap into Drake Van at the moment or turn it on. Although, probably just pop the Drake Van instead of turn it on. Oh, so there goes the Alanka, um, Bracky. So Bracky's just gonna rampage with whoever comes in, I guess. Or. If it stayed in, then, you know, killed the Lost Raptor. I guess that's a option as well. <laughs> Alright, uh, Stigma Lock. Security? I mean, it's not going to do too much damage. It's shielding. Oh, shielding strike might just take it out. Yeah, never mind. Eh, probably just went for, should have went uh, for Bello. Trend on without swapping in. Uh, is kind of sad. It's a charge. Ouch. Thankfully, you didn't get stunned there. Oh, see? Could have gotten screwed. Alright, so, um... Oh, they didn't swap. That's interesting. Or, yeah, they didn't swap for some reason. Beats me. Oh, well. <laughs> At least that, that was a really, really clutch uh, win there. That stun hadn't land, it didn't land, and it would have been really a tough situation since uh, you're not getting any damage onto Stiggy, and then you know it's gonna hit you again next turn. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, could have just impact and run, ran into uh, Drake Gen Two. Wait, does it even have impact and run? The turned on thing, the turned on thing. Yeah, it does. Okay, okay. It wasn't too big of a deal at then, I guess. Uh, could, could have just impacted and ran into the Drake Gen 2, which would have been GG anyways. I think. <laughs> anyways, um, last one here. Uh, this one's titled, DG2 Slays Inea. This must be a video for our friend Rebecca <laughs> on MetaHub, who has a level 30 Inea Sukus, which is pretty crazy. Alright. Lockdown. Mm-hmm. Let's see the lineup. Draper Gen 2, Bracky, Delta, and Ornithomimus. Ah, that's quite interesting. You got two uh, swapping dinos. Then you have uh, Bracky, which is, you know, it's basically a staple of the tank uh, at these levels. Anyasukas. Level 19. Damn. Well. Okay, thankfully they dodged that, so he's probably just going to impact and run right in Drake Gen 2, and that should take out the uh, Inusukas. Poor thing. And boom. Haha, uh -huh. faster not. Swap in is above priority. Okay, just one more strike, and you should be able to take out Drake Gen 2. Ooh, uh, 
It's actually, no, no, I don't think, wait, I mean, it is three levels higher. I still don't think it has the damage, oh, never mind, barely has the damage to take it out. Oh, well, poor thing, um, I guess you're gonna die now, <laughs> Lost Raptor. Okay, that's, that's one shot. No crit? No crit. Oh well, that's still a one shot. Oh, Velociraptor. It used to be really good back in 1.2. You guys don't know. Alright, Sooktator. So this is going to be a bit of a problem for Bracky. Uh, yeah. Spirit Strike, obviously. Wouldn't be uh, too wise to use that low here or against Sooktator. Oh, the crit machine crit scan. Wow, that's a lot of HP. You <laughs> just from the bleed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was expected. So I mean you you're not losing too much from the Spirit Strike damage in comparison to the rampage. Since you know, your next dino who comes out Delta or whatever would just kill uh the Sucutator anyways with a pounce. So they'll have to first swap. So, you know. Or not. Do people down here just like taking L's? Not a try or whatever. Oh well, I mean, it's really hard to swap into a full health delta, so you know I don't really blame them. Anyways, um, that was interesting. Um, and uh, uh thank you again to Temerity for providing uh, the footage in lockdown. Um, so lockdown looks like it's getting a bit tough for Temerity. A few close games here which is different from what we usually see, the invincible to marry that just runs through all their uh, his opponents. But yeah, it's, it's getting a bit more difficult, especially uh, since Tamari's not uh, using any hybrid. It's going to be uh, difficult to climb once he starts meeting some more hybrids, like Paramoloch today, you know, that would have been a bit difficult. But, uh, you yeah, know, hopefully he does uh, encounter some of those and be successful at defeating them, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and again, thanks to Merity for providing the footage. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.